Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering. Hey Simmers, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. I am Culture Sims, and today I am going to be doing a highly requested video, which is how do I complete my live event goals faster? I'm going to be telling you guys because I'm finally making this video and I think it's only right because we just got the new Christmas update. So if you guys want to know how we can complete the live events quicker and gain all of these cool items and get the bonus prizes at the end, then definitely stay tuned. If you guys would like a complete video on how to do the same thing for The Sims Mobile, let me know down in the comments because the steps are different seeing as how the live events are completely different and I will make that video as well for you guys. Alright, so I have five tasks or five tips rather on how you can complete your live events faster. Now before you guys say it, because I know that this is going to come up in the comments, I'm going to go ahead and address it. Yes, I do skip past my live events with LPs and I'm going to tell you why. One. If I were to just do it normal like this, I would not be able to make these videos for you guys. So you're like, well, you're telling us how to do it the normal way, but you cheat through it. Yes, because I do this for YouTube. This is my job. If I couldn't make these videos for you guys, by the time I finished my video, it would be when the live event is over because we would be finishing about the same time. You know what I mean? So yes, I do skip past all of these tasks with LPs so that I can make these videos for you guys to let you know what is coming and what's ahead. So now that I've said that, let's go ahead and get on into this video. So the first tip that I have and I see this mistake a lot is people go in and when they're doing these tasks with the candle stations they always make the biggest mistake of having the longest running one go throughout the day that is not what you guys want to do that is going to make it worse and I'm gonna tell you why and think about it because you guys may have not even realized this when you are setting your game to do it the 8 hour and 30 minute one throughout the day, when you go to bed, you're either going to forget because the time has ran so past your bedtime that you're already asleep, or it's already completed and you're just wasting time while you're sleeping. Now, I'm going to tell you the more efficient way to do your tasks during the day because a lot of people that play this game are younger people that go to school during the day and are younger millennials who have work during the day like me luckily i get to work from home because youtube is my job but i did have a regular nine to five job and it was hard to complete these tasks let me tell you okay so the more efficient way that you want to do these tasks is during the day when you are at school obviously you want to set it for a longer time because you're going to be gone for several hours what is school like six to eight hours now i think something like that oh god it's been a long time since i've been at school don't judge me um okay so if you guys know that you're going to school what you're going to want to do is set it to the six hour and 30 minute one or the eight hour and 30 minute one that is going to make sure that you have your sims busy doing their tasks while you are gone do this with every available sim that you can. Obviously, I know that you have to purchase amount of candle stations per sim, but if you guys can afford to do that, then I highly recommend placing all of these candle stations in an empty lot or in a lot that has a very large backyard and you can have all of your sims go to that particular lot and have them working on their candle stations while you are in school. Relevant to this one, it's have your sims work longer tasks at night and then check them in the morning. Again, common sense, but a lot of people really just don't think about it. So instead of working your longer tasks during the day because it burns time and then you go to sleep at night, what you want to do is you want to have your sims work the longer tasks, which is either the 6 hour and 30 minute one or the 8 hour and 30 minute one during the night. So when you're sleeping, you can have all of your sims working throughout the night and then in the morning when you wake up before you go and get ready for school or work. Let's be honest, the first thing we do when we open our eyes in the morning is check our phone. 
If you do not, are you really alive in the morning? I really just, oh my God. First thing I do is grab my phone and my Apple Watch. So as soon as you get up in the morning, before you do anything, if you grab your phone, get on Sims Free Play and collect all of your candles and then have your Sims work according to your schedule. If it's a lazy day and you're not doing anything, do your shorter tasks with your timers. If you're going to school or work, set your longer tasks and you don't necessarily have to set a timer for that. You can just check it when you get done. Unless you get on break, then, you know, calculate that. And then you guys can set that to your liking. The third tip I have is to gain LP before the event even starts. Again, common sense, but a lot of people just don't think about it. I'm going to tell you the easiest way to do this. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I'm not even doing that for subs. I tell you guys a week to two weeks in advance in my videos when the update is coming out. Sometimes it's in another video, sometimes it could be towards the end, sometimes I try and do it in the beginning. But if you guys watch my videos then you always know when the update is coming out, whether it be via video or my community channel or Instagram, Twitter or my fan page. I always let you guys know, but I always let you know on my YouTube channel. So if you guys always want to know when an event is going to start subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications because you guys will always be informed every update for the sims mobile and free play when it's coming out now when i say gain lp before the event i mean you can either go in and the easiest way to gain lps and a lot of people actually talk about this is to do hobby events so i'm going to show you right here <clears throat> so Every time you complete a hobby event that you have already completed the first time, you get five LPs each time you complete it. So as you guys can see here, I have all of these right here because I just completed this event. Now, once you finish it, you get your five LPs. What you're going to do is just restart it. And the easiest way you can do this with any event, it doesn't have to be the cooking one, is to have your sims huddle up in a location where you can have several stoves or whatever hobby it is and have them working throughout the day when you're not working on something else like your weekly goals now again remember this is before the event even starts so you don't have to worry about taking time out of your event to do this so if you do this a week or two weeks in advance then you're racking up all of these lps that'll help you skip through all of these longer tasks if you fall behind or or you can just go ahead and get ahead of yourself and then if you happen to fall behind a day you know you're already set you know that you're still on track with whatever you're doing so that is a tip that I highly recommend is working on hobbies events because if you have like four or five sims doing this on a lot and you have your timer set so every time one action is finished you can go through collect all of your items and then you can quickly clean up your area i will make a full video on how to do this efficiently because especially if you're going to do the cooking hobby it does get a little repetitive and you have to clean up all the plates i'm going to show you an easy way to do that and save time so that is tip number three Tip number four is to get top-ups from simmers. A lot of you guys probably don't know what top-ups are. This is more so a term for OG players who have been playing from the beginning. Basically what a top-up is, is somebody is going into your account and they're giving you free simoleons, LPs, and SPs. Now I do have a lot of people on my Sims Free Play Neighbors community page on Facebook that do do top-ups. So if you guys would like to get in touch with some of those people, just go and follow me on my fan page. I will link it in the description for you guys as always. And you guys can post on the um, public page. Don't inbox me because I'm the only one that sees it. I mean, you can if you want to talk to me. Um, but post on the public post section saying I'm looking for simmers who do top-ups for the Sims free play and they will comment on the post or they will inbox you personally so that you guys can work out how you're going to do it. Also another great way to get LPs, SPs, and simoleons is to go through neighbors that have pet farms. Pet farms are not something you can do anymore. They stopped doing that years back. Um, so the only way that you can have a friend who does pet farms is if they've already had one. I have one. So if you guys would like to get a hold of me through the comments or through Instagram or whatever, let me know if you guys want to add me as a neighbor and we can go from there. The most common way is through Facebook and the other common way is through Game Center if you're on iPhone or iPad. Um, 
My pet farm is on the mystery island in the very back for those of you who are watch who are already neighbors with me, that's where you can find it. The last and final tip I have for the moment for you guys is Panda Helper. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this, you can cheat this game. I did, not through Panda Helper, I cheated this game six years ago, seven years ago, and you guys can still see how much money I have from that hack. So many. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about Panda Helper. Now I haven't done it with The Sims Free Play, but I know it works with The Sims Free Play. I did use Panda Helper for The Sims Mobile if you guys would like to know how to hack your Sims Mobile game to get a whole bunch of Sim Cash and Smolians. I will link that video down below and at the very end of this video. Also it'll be up at the top right corner. The steps are the exact same for The Sims Free Play minus one step. Now before I tell you how to use Panda Helper, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this now. Back up your game. Just, just back it up to your cloud, please, because I can't count how many people cussed me out on that video saying that they lost their game because they didn't save it. You know what? Common sense. I told you guys you decided not to watch the whole video all the way through and you deleted your Sims game and never backed up your game. Common sense should tell you, if you're gonna delete your game, make sure that you have your game file backed up somewhere. So, now that I got that out of the way, so that hopefully I don't get cussed out, first thing you're gonna do is go to the link in the description on your device, or you guys can just search pandahelper.vip. Sometimes it's down, so if it's down, you might have to wait a few days, but if it's not and it allows you to download the free version, once you go through the steps, um, like I said, I'll make a video on it, but if you guys want to go ahead and do it, I will leave the other video down so you can see exactly how it works. Um, go through all of the steps, and then when it gets to the part where it says, do you want to start a new game, or you want to download a new game, just hit download new game, download your saved file to that game, and then get all the money and stuff that you need from it, and then save that again to the cloud. Completely delete Panda Helper and that version of The Sims Free Play off of your device and then download the original one and then download your saved game back to your file on that account. Um, I'm, telling you to, um, I'm telling you to do that instead of starting a new game like I did on The Sims Mobile 1 because you put so much work and effort into everything that you have already have, especially if you guys have purchased um, online packs with actual money. You don't want to lose those and... One, I didn't know that you could do that back then. I thought you had to start a new game. You don't. Uh, so that goes with The Sims Mobile as well. You can download your game, hack it, and then just re-download it to the original. And why I'm telling you to delete Panda Helper after you do it is because Panda Helper crashes a lot due to a lot of people using it. So it allows you to play it for a few days and then sometimes it'll go offline and then you're stuck and you can't do anything with it. And then you have to wait for it to re-come back online, which could take a week or so. So once you hack your game, make sure you download it back to your other original uh, game file from like the App Store or your Google Play Store so that you can still be on the current update and have all of your hacked money. So those are my tips to completing the live events. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys would like a, another video on other live event tips and tricks, um, definitely let me know. And if you guys want one for The Sims Mobile, let me know down in the comments. If any of these tips were helpful for you guys, give this video a thumbs up. <coughs> Hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video. My voice is going out now. <laughs> Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.